Hi, this is Jeremy Morris. It's March 22nd, 2023. Today's message from the good book is The Way of Escape. You know, there's many difficult things in the world. There's lots of dangers. And God says in his word, he'll provide a way to escape these things. I'd like to give you the scripture. It says in Corinthians 10, verse 13, God will not allow you to be tempted above that which you are able to handle. And he will provide a way to escape. That's a really good thing to know because if we can find the way to escape, we can avoid all kinds of difficulties that don't need to happen in our life. There's many things that just aren't meant to happen. And this is why Jesus said in the Lord's Prayer in Matthew 6, 13, he, he said, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And so evil is out there, but you don't have to become a part of that. And I can think of a couple examples. Um, one of them was that horrible day on September 11th, 2001, when the Twin Towers went down. There were many, many people who woke up that morning and got a strong impression in their spirit that they should stay home and not go to work. So what was that? That was the Holy Spirit speaking to them, providing a way to escape, a way to escape a real disaster. And so what does this mean then? The key to not entering into these horrible situations is to listen to the Holy Spirit. Listen to that still small voice because he will provide the way out of the trouble, the way to escape. And remember, God said he wouldn't give you anything that you can't handle. There is a way to escape. Life can be good if you let it be good. Would you say a prayer with me? One way to make life better is to ask the Lord into your life. And so here's the prayer. Lord Jesus, I invite you to come into my heart. Forgive my sins. I turn away from them. I receive your gift of eternal life. And I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Amen.